Welcome to the Movie Update. I'm Reggie Ponder, the real critic, and I have your review for this week. I just feel like we should chill for a while. I think we should take a break. You're breaking up with me? It's not you. Of course it's me. It's me. I don't like you anymore. You said that I was your soulmate. I did? When? When we were at that bed and breakfast having sex. You know, that doesn't, that doesn't what? Count. This week's movie is Friends with Benefits, starring Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis, who try to explore the prospect of being friends and sex partners. That's right, sex with no attachment. Start. Bedroom. What's wrong with the couch? The bedroom has better light. And since we're just friends, I don't have to be insecure about my body. Come on, you're beautiful. You have nothing to but, be insecure. But, 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 but. That sounds emotionally supportive. Lock that down. Your ass is a little bony. Much better. I can work with that. Okay. Should be fine. <clears throat> Whoa! Whoa! I don't know what you're doing. I can't see you putting on your black underpants. Jamie, baby, I missed you. Oh, baby. Ah. Did your boobs get bigger? It's what I like is the writing is great. I like how they set it all up in the beginning with both Timberlake and Kunis getting dumped by their partners and how they eventually become friends. I like how the film explores all the things that happen when two people try to be emotionalists with sex. From no inhibitions, no strings and no worries to awkward moments, lots of strings and plenty of complications. Timberlake and Kunis are great on the screen together with and without their clothes on. Their chemistry is hot. And as they learn more about each other's families, it appears that more than friends with benefits might be a real possibility. Now trying to get there is funny and fresh with great supporting characters, especially Woody Harrelson as an unabashedly gay sports writer. It's hilarious. You have a boat? I live in Jersey. And I ain't taking no ferry. Unless it's out to dinner and a show. What I don't like is at points you already know what's going to happen. Now come on, who really believes that Hollywood would just turn the romantic comedy on its head? Yes, it's a bit formulaic, but take your friends because they are real benefits. Three and a half out of four reels. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, The Real Critic. That's oh. good. Oh, I gotta see that again. Send me an email at therealcritic at reginaldponder.com and I'll see you at the theater.